All right, so we need to stop using strength as a shortcut to size and a shortcut to hypertrophy if that's your goal. So it might sound a little bit misleading at first, but there's a few different things that I want you guys to be aware of that I've made as mistakes in my own training that I've had a lot of other people that I see all the time in real life and online make. And it's something that needs to be needs to be at least understood uh, why we do this and why it doesn't necessarily work. So yeah, let's get right into it. So I guess, yeah, first thing, flannel is back, don't worry. So yeah, I guess that's a that's a recurring theme on the channel. Got, got a few comments about that. So don't worry, flannel's back. It's not going anywhere unless for some reason it's like too hot to wear in the summer, which I don't think will be in the, uh, the case since I am in the basement here. So short-term strength increase, whether it's novelty strength, aka noob gains, or it's just testing a PR and doing these one rep maxes, three rep maxes or whatever, does not necessarily lead to more size. So if you're going heavy just to increase your strength numbers, you're training incorrectly. What builds muscle isn't the strength standard that you're shooting for, it's the method you use on your way to that number. Anyone can say a 315 bench will guarantee you a big chest, and I agree to an extent, but it's not the 315 bench that builds you muscle, it's the process that led you to that number in the first place. We need to be using bodybuilding technique and volume to maximize muscle growth, and a 315 bench will be a stamp of approval that we have built muscle, not necessarily the cause of it. We need to be precise in our training methods because it is very possible to get a 315 bench training like a power lifter. At the end of the day, it's not the 315 bench that builds muscle, it's the 315 bench that's a stamp of approval if you train with bodybuilding methods. So clearly a strength increase is correlated with muscle hypertrophy, but that's not always the case because there are ways to get stronger without building muscle, or at least not optimally. So the reason you hear this everywhere is because every other lifting sport is performance related. It's literally just bodybuilding that isn't. Correct me if I'm wrong if you have another example out there, but Bodybuilding is not performance related, so we get all sorts of performance goals and standards thrown at us when we simply don't care. So you get, obviously we're involved in the same community as everybody else, whether you're a strongman or a powerlifter, Olympic weightlifter or whatever. All of those lifting related sports, they're performance related. So these people actually do care about their performance. They care about their strength. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just apples and oranges. Like in bodybuilding, we're training for... Uh, basically muscle hypertrophy that's not a performance related goal that's just a byproduct of training in the first place but when you take people that train and their goal is to get better in the gym and perform these certain feats of strength they need their methods to work to basically get to that feat of strength the problem with bodybuilding is we don't actually care like if i hit a pr i don't care whatsoever the only thing that matters is like, okay, so I'm doing more volume this time or doing more tonnage this time on a certain lift or throughout the workout. So I'm either building muscle or I've built muscle, like we're good. I don't think about it. I don't care. I don't, I don't even think twice about it. So there are multiple paths to a certain strength number. And if you focus purely on reaching that number, you will start to sacrifice part of your methods to get there quicker. Yes, Bodybuilding will not get you to a 315 bench as fast as other methods, 100%, but it is the most optimal for muscle growth. So what happens in a lot of our training is we hear these certain strength standards, and it's not, it's not the standard, it's not that hard number that you need to hit to have a certain size muscle, it's the journey, it's the process of getting to that number through a certain method that builds you muscle throughout that process. So... What happens when you tell a bodybuilder that, a, let's say you're a beginner lifter, oh, so your chest is small, you need to hit a 315 bench and you'll have a big chest. What does that person start to do? Here's the answer. This is what you start to do. You start to cut some corners. So, okay, instead of doing nice, slow sets of 12 on bench, you're now doing a little bit more, um, a little bit more of like a quicker rep. You're doing a little bit lower in the rep range, with, which obviously isn't optimal for hypertrophy. We all know this. Um, you start to change your technique. You start to widen your grip, get some arch, get some leg drive. 
And I've talked about this before, but you start cutting corners because you're like, oh, well, hypertrophy, 315 bench. If I have a 315 bench, I will be big. But once you start cutting corners, you're taking away from the process that actually gets you big. The 315, like I said earlier, you need to just view as that stamp of approval. So if I'm trying to go from, let's say my bench max is 185 and I'm a beginner, and somebody tells me I need to hit a 315 bench to have a big chest, I'm going to try and get there as fast as I possibly can because in my mind, the connection is, this is the correlation, muscle hypertrophy, aka big chest, and strong bench, aka 315 bench. So what I do is I start to train more like a power lifter. So if I wanted to get big fast, which every beginner does, it's just natural. There's nothing wrong with that because you do want to try and get big as fast as you can. The purpose that we're missing here, and this is where we get mistaken, is, okay, well, I want to get big fast, so let me get to that 315 bench as fast as I can. Like I said earlier, that's not the right way to do it because training like a power lifter to reach a 315 bench Sure, you'll gain some muscle, but you'll look like a power lifter. You're not going to look like a bodybuilder. The chest size is going to be completely different. So if you train like a bodybuilder and kind of go like the, the slow and steady way where you actually get more muscle growth out of each training session, yeah, it might take you a little bit longer to hit the 315 bench. But by the time you get there, your chest is going to be way bigger than if you had taken the powerlifting route and the strength route just by doing like maybe some speed work and heavy singles, doubles, triples, even fours or fives aren't optimal for hypertrophy at all. That's the mistake that a lot of us will make. And that's a lot of the, when we get impatient with this stuff, that's where we start to cut corners. So when you say, when you hear these things like correlating a certain number with a certain amount of muscle mass, it just doesn't make sense because at the end of the day, it's not the number. And I know I'm repeating myself here. It's the process that got you to that number. So Yes, bodybuilding training, doing sets of 12 and whatever with like nice slow tempo and a good technique without arching your back a ton and whatnot will be a little bit slower when it comes to strength increase, especially in a one rep max. But at the end of the day, we're not after the strength, we're after the increase. And it doesn't matter, doesn't matter what number it is, it just matters that you're slowly getting better over time. So there are multiple paths to a certain strength number. And if you focus purely on reaching that number, you will start to sacrifice part of your methods to get there quicker. Yes, bodybuilding will not get you, to, get you to a 315 bench as fast as other methods, but it's the most optimal for muscle growth. If you take two beginner lifters and have one trained like a power lifter and one trained like a bodybuilder, the lifter who trains like a bodybuilder, because they're getting more muscle growth from each session, will be just as big at a 250 bench max as a power lifter would be at, say, a 315 bench max. So we see this all the time. I mean, Look at a lot of these advanced bodybuilders. They're not particularly strong. I mean, they, they're not as necessarily as strong as they look. And that's kind of the goal. Like, you don't want to be training with these crazy heavy weights all the time because that stuff takes a toll on you. And it's hard to get a bunch of quality volume in without, um, without basically hurting your recovery and killing your fatigue. Like, you don't want to be particularly strong. That's That's for another video for sure. But this video, yeah... I want to make sure that we're kind of differentiating certain methods to get strength gains really fast that don't necessarily grow you versus taking like the slow route that builds you a ton of muscle throughout the way. And then that's what gets you the results. So if you're building say twice as much muscle in every session, if you're at a 200 bench and you're trying to get to a much bigger chest, if you go the slow way, you'll be jacked at 250, one rep max on a bench You'll be just as jacked as the guy that like cut corners and trained like a power lifter and got the 300 bench, if that makes sense. So this is the way to train. At the end of the day, we need to have all of our training fundamentals in check to build size and performance increase is a result of training properly. I don't believe in these arbitrary numbers for a certain size, like a 315 bench, like the example I used in this video. I believe it's progression, not necessarily the end result. So even with that example I just gave a minute ago about the person with a 250 bench being as jacked as the power lifter at a 315 bench, like a lot of these power lifters, yeah, sure, a lot of them are big because a lot of them do train more like power builders. But if you start to just cut these corners and rely solely on like heavy compound lifts, 
you can get pretty damn strong without putting on much size. Like there's a lot to be said even about, and this is just a totally different topic right now, but targeting certain parts of the muscle. Like if you're just doing one specific range of motion, like a flat bench press or a pause bench and stuff like that, close grip bench, your chest won't be as well-rounded as someone that does a little bit more variation, like a decline or a dip, a flat press, a fly, an incline. Like, sure, you can't just isolate a certain part of the muscle, but you can definitely emphasize certain parts of it a little bit more than others. So it's not even just the strength number, it's the overall way that your muscles will look by training more like a bodybuilder than a powerlifter. So I'd argue that a bodybuilder using bodybuilder methods could be just as big and have a better looking overall bigger more aesthetically pleasing i hate that term i don't know why i said it muscle than like a 350 bencher that just does a couple different lifts you know like that's pretty much all i got for today so if you guys have any questions or comments definitely let me know uh with that being said yeah peace out